there are many reasons we enjoy duck hunting in the natural state. The splendor of sunrise over the marsh, the company of good friends, the breathtaking sight of ducks committing to the decoys. But we also duck hunt for food. Despite what you've probably heard about duck not being fit for the table, we found that taste usually depends on the method of preparation and the skill of the cook. Today, we're seeking the advice of James Beard award-winning food blogger and cookbook author, Hank Shaw, who provides a simple but delicious take on wild duck breast. Everybody kind of knows, oh well, you know, it's you cook a duck breast and, and it's sort of like a steak. And, and that's, that you're on the right track with that. So the, the most fundamental thing you need to think about when you're cooking ducks or geese is that they're not birds in the kitchen, they're beef. The duck breast is kind of the fundamental linchpin of, of duck and goose cooking. So the one major piece of advice I can give everybody, no matter how you cook it, is don't let it get past medium. It's a steak, remember. So if you like your steak rare, you cook your duck breast rare. If you like your steak medium, you cook your duck breast medium. If you like your steak really well done, don't hunt ducks. You know, this is Arkansas, it's rice country. So there's this layer of, of grain-fed fat underneath the breast of these mallards and the widgeon and such that, that is amazingly tasty. It's a steak wearing a hat made of bacon. That's what a skin on duck breast is. Put a little bit of oil in, say, a cast iron pan or on a flat top or in any kind of frying pan. Put a little bit of oil and turn the heat to medium. Let that get hot, just kind of swirl it around the pan a bit. And then you lay the duck breast down, skin side down. And they're gonna to start to sizzle. The first thing you do is you watch them go, ooh, yay, so it's sizzling. And then you take your finger and you put your finger down right in the center of the meat where the tail end of the breast is. And the reason is because of this. So with the skin on the back of the duck breast, it's gonna kind of curl up like this. And it's gonna form this weird little pocket where it curls up. And if you don't stick your finger down for like 10, 15 seconds right in the beginning, that little skin is gonna curl up and you won't get a crispy spot. If you put it down, it'll stick to the pan just enough where it'll be evenly crispy on the bottom. And let it cook like that. Well, how hot should it cook? Sound like bacon. Sound like bacon sizzling light, light. And let it go. How long? Well, it's, I don't know how fat your duck is. I don't know how big your duck breast is. So check it. So grab a pair of tongs. You can pick it up and look. It should look crispy, 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 just like cooked bacon. And when that happens, you, then you flip them over and you cook them to taste. Well, what does that mean? The easiest way to do it is with your hand. So you touch this right here, and that's what raw meat feels like. Now just touch your thumb and forefinger together. Touch it again. That's what rare tastes like. You can feel it. You'll get a, a sense for what that feels like. Go one finger in. See it's a little firmer? That's a solid medium. It's really as far as you ever want to take your ducks. Just for the hell of it, now touch your pinky. Now feel that. Feel how hard that is? That's cat food. You ruined it. Sorry. Do another one. But that's the thing. Once that skin side is up, all of your cooking is going to be to taste off of this finger test. And you get the hang of it, you know, eventually you can be a Jedi and use the Force, but generally like teal would be a minute, maybe 90 seconds. A mallard will be about three minutes or so. You know, the, the skin side is going to take however long it's going to take. So it could be eight minutes, but you just kind of wait for it to look nice and crispy. Don't worry about the meat underneath because that skin and that fat insulates it. And then when it comes over, two, three, four minutes, until it's done the way you want it. And then one last little trick is when it's almost there, I'll take tube duck breasts and put them up on the fat side to lean against each other. So what you want to do is you want to sit them on those fat pads like there, just about a minute, just so it crisps up. And that will give you a really nice even cook. Take them off, put them on the cutting board, let them rest. Don't tent them, just let them rest. Now is the time where if you want to use Tony seasoning or cavenders or you know salt and pepper. Now is the time where you, you grind it all over. Because what's going to happen is the, the meat's going to rest. You're going to get at the top is going to be a little bit wet still from the from the duck fat, and it'll it'll take that seasoning, and then it's going to be all the way around the, the ducks. So then when you cut, you 
we've got the seasoning on the table that's getting all the duck juice that is sort of coming out as the, as the meat rests. You have your sauce. Easy peasy.